So former team leader of World of Warcraft and producer of Diablo 2 had the stupidest take I've seen it for a game in a very long time. Like, congratulations, Scrums. Y you did it. You, you broke my brain. More so than Elon Musk changing Twitter to X, which is like what a 13-year-old edgelord would do. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So Starfield is coming out September 6, 2023, and it's on Game Pass. I'll try it. It's not like I'm like chomping out the bit for it. Um, actually kind of looking forward to Blasphemous 2 more than that. I still have to play through Blasphemous 1, but that's besides the point. Who cares? Grums, like I said, is a veteran developer. He was the team leader of World of Warcraft. He was the producer of Diablo 2, like I said in the intro. He also was the producer for StarCraft. So he, he's not like, it's not like just some rando on Twitter saying, hey, here's my take. That's dumb. I wouldn't be making a video on this. But when you have a massive following and say something like this that's completely ridiculous, uh, you're going to be called out for it. So Grums, also known by his real name as Mark Kern, had a very interesting post about the Starfield start screen. I'm not kidding. And this is what he had to say, and he received a bunch of flack for it, and he's been fighting with people ever since on Twitter. Here we go. So first and foremost, here is the Starfield start screen. Again, I'm not fanboying for this game. If I don't ever play it, I'll probably be okay too. Like I said, I'm going to try it, but I'm not excited for it. And it's fine. It's a clean, perfectly fine looking intro screen or startup screen, whatever the hell you want to call it. But Grums, Mark went on a little bit of a tirade and is judging an entire game and how rushed the team was and how hard they worked, essentially, on this start screen. And this is what his initial tweet had to say. The physiognomy of start screens. The start screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work. Starfield start screen either shows hasty shipping deadlines by a passionate team overworked or a team that didn't care. Wow. It, you know what developers go through because you've been there and that's a ballsy thing to say. Ballsy thing to say. But anyway, again, here is the start screen looking clean and perfectly fine. It's minimalist. But then he, he kind of goes on a tirade. Someone replied to him, I'll just leave this here. No need to wonder if a game is good based on a title screen. Someone replied to him, which is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. We have actually people playing it. And while they can't say much now, their actions speak louder than a start screen. Grums replies back with, this is an IQ test. Anyone who thought I said the start screen determined the quality of the game failed. Are, are you kidding me? We just read your other tweet, dude. It's right there. You alluded to the fact that the game is either rushed or the team didn't care. If the team didn't care, then that means they wouldn't put, be putting out a good quality product. Right? Like, this is an IQ test for you. And you failed it. Congratulations. You blew it. Then he goes on to do the deflection game where the next tweet from him was the graphic designers who analyzed and trashed the X logo as a huge failure for Twitter. Is he simping for Elon Musk, like low key simping for him are now defending Starfield start screen, literally flipping their positions. Interesting. Are you kidding me? It looks like he it looks like Elon Musk force developers over a Twitter like, yes, just go look for an edgy looking X. And they went and found one and it, and it looks like it's a font that took them five seconds to make. Stop it. You can't compare the two. It's not done though. And then he goes on the praise Chrono Trigger's screen, which yeah, I'm going to say, I actually think Starfields looks nicer, but Chrono Trigger is a classic. I'm not taking that away from Chrono Trigger. Then he's retweeting people that are defending him, talking about Alien Isolation screen. And then someone says to him here, you quite literally said the game could be based on the start screen. What is there to misunderstand? And he's right. Mark, I read the tweet. Reread it. I did. 
you are alluding to the fact that the developers may have not even cared about the game, but you will die on this hill because ego. And you'll see I said no such thing about the quality of the game. Yes, you did. Someone wrote above him. Uh, have you read what you wrote? And he wrote back, oh, please. It's a good tweet, but it's hardly anything five million people should be so upset about. You're not upset. It's just they're criticizing you. and It's a dumb take. And you literally said something and you're saying that you didn't say it. What's so hard to understand? And then he goes after develop and it just continues on and on and on and on and on. If there's any naughty words, YouTube might cry so I can't show them. It's just ridiculous. Now, one thing I did do and I actually can show this on my iPad because shocking news, Twitter doesn't work right on my iPad because Elon Musk is the, the smartest man on the planet. It used to, too, before, you know, so don't tell me that it's not Elon's fault. Here are some other uh, examples of start screens that from different time periods and different eras in gaming that are considered fantastic. Final Fantasy VII, Skyrim. This is what I really wanted to show, okay? Skyrim, Bethesda, there you go. Uh, Bethesda is also making Starfield, fun little fact for these zero people who didn't realize that very simple screen. Yeah. Considered one of the greatest games of all time. I'm not a big Skyrim fan, but you, you're going to say they didn't care about Skyrim Bethesda. Are you going to say that Mark? The screen is basically as simple as what Starfield is. If anything, I would argue Starfield actually looks a little cleaner. And this is coming from a guy who is lukewarm at best on the game. And here is Cuphead's start screen, which is actually paying homage to the Final Fantasy VII start screen. But if you look there, it kind of, I don't know, I don't, think, I don't think that's a great start screen. And this is coming from Gamerran, who says this is one of the best start screens of all time. You're going to say Cuphead wasn't a meticulous game that was not put together well? You wouldn't say that, would you? Look, man, I, I, I get it. It's we're all human and we want to be right and we want to, you know, we want to defend our honor. And this is why minus actually having to talk to Team YouTube on Twitter, because that's the only really way you could get to Twitter in a quick manner. I'm taking a minimal hiatus from Twitter, but you're wrong on this, dude. I mean, look, it's subjective. Everyone has different tastes, but you're judging the entire development cycle of a huge AAA game by a minimalist, clean start screen. You could deflect to Hassan's Piker take on Starfield all you want to, but your take was dumb. And look, the game may not be great. I don't know. And like I said, I'm not super excited for it. But you going on this warpath and making all these assumptions over one still image of starting the game that's not even out yet is absolutely ridiculous and you deserve to be roasted for it this is rich of review tech usa signing out have a good one